Joker, the movie of 2019, the movie that just came out in October. D- yeah, this is coming in October. Now, the movie Joker stars Joaquin Phoenix and Robert De Niro because those are the two people you see the most. And also directed by Todd Phillips, who has directed the Hangover series. Now, this Joker film, it's amazing. It's fantastic. And it has me, you know, it has me thinking about this movie so much. I I haven't stopped thinking about this movie at all. And that's good because it does create a conversation. Now, this movie, it is dark. It is, it messes with, it messes with you emotionally a little bit. Because the, the stuff Arthur goes through, and Arthur is the character Joaquin Phoenix plays, who he will become the Joker. Now, I feel so bad for Arthur because he goes through a lot in this film. And you see that in the very beginning. You see how, when, when you see the beginning of the film, the first opening sequence, you 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 can already tell what the guy is going through. Even if, even if you don't watch the trailers. Now, what they do in this film They do give an origin for Joker. Now, the Joker has had multiple, multiple origins, but his most famous uh, origin is the one from The Killing Joke. And The Killing Joke is written by Alan Moore. Now, The Killing Joke was about a guy who broke into his old job uh, with uh, old gangsters because he was trying to get money for his wife. Now, his wife is pregnant. Now, his wife died while pregnant, but it was an accident. And he didn't want to do it, but the guy said, no, no, come on, you already agreed, or we'll do something. I don't remember, because I, I read the book, like, two years ago. But, other than that, he goes in there, he's having the Red Hood costume, he falls into Nevada ass, he becomes a Joker. Now, in that story, he does say, he doesn't remember his origin. He remembers it this way, or this way, or another way. Now, this does give a good origin to the Joker, now, is it a Joker that we know from the comics? Yes and no. It, it's it's weird. But, yes. Uh, basically, he does say it's multiple choice. Joker does say his a lot. His, if he chooses an origin, he would rather have a multiple choice. And if the Joker ever saw this, yeah, I think this would be a perfect multiple choice origin. Now, Arthur, he has a thing that, that um, when he's nervous or agitated he will start to laugh and when you see that laughter it's like oh it's creepy it's so creepy like why but then every time he's laughing he's trying to it chokes him up he's like i don't want to laugh but i i have to because it's my defensive defense mechanism now to his laugh to his laugh i love his laugh um every time i saw him laugh i'm like this man is slowly breaking. He's breaking down. Every time he laughs, it's just, when am I going to see that? And the thing is, it's it's a slow build movie. I do like that. That That's what probably what I needed. Because it's unpredictable. The thing is, there's a twist in the film. I didn't see coming until like the last few seconds before it was revealed. I'm like, I did not see that coming. And... Yeah, and what also Joaquin Phoenix, your your performance phenomenal. Also, Robert De Niro, he's in this film. He plays Murray. He's a talk show host as well. Um, he, you know, Robert De Niro could have faked that that uh, acting. He did not. He went full ham on that movie. He enjoyed that role, in my opinion, because it was so fun. Him interacting with Arthur. Now, that's a little bit ahead of time. I want to talk about more about Arthur and what he, what he goes through. Yeah, he gets beat up. He's caring for his mother. He wants to be a stand-up comedian. He has a girlfriend. <laughs> or he's dating He's dating a girl. Uh, but yeah, what what that man is going through. Life just throws something at him. And, and it just... He's like, my mother always told me to, to always have a smile. Yeah, and he lives by those words, literally, as you can see in the movie. I like Joker. I do recommend you watch it. <laughs> Go watch it. Now, don't listen to the, to the media of hysteria of everything. There are more movies that are more darker, more twisted. This is actually pretty tamed, in my opinion. Yeah, it's pretty tamed. 
The Purge. Where was this media coverage when The Purge happened? The Purge, the movie that came out, what, 2010, 2011? No, no, no. Uh, 2012, 2014. Yeah, that movie is more twisted than this. Trust me. It's literally about people killing each other for fun. This one, Joker's like, society has broken me. I'm broken. You know what? Screw society. I'm the Joker now. That's basically what it is. Yeah. Arthur's, it's basically when he does become the Joker, it's a little bit, but it gives you like hints that he's slowly turning into the Joker. Just you see the cogs turning your like mine's just yes, but Joker, I recommend it. Watch it, it f- have fun with it, and create your own ideas. The way it ends is kind of open ended. The way it begins, Arthur feels a certain emotion. The way it the way it begins, the way it ends, it's basically the opposite, and. Yeah, it does have you thinking. Now, if you do want me to talk about the film in more detail, let me know. And I'll start writing a script. I'll start practicing. But will I spoil this film? No. Enjoy it. Trust me. You will enjoy it. It's a good. Everyone's good. Everyone's at their game. And it is probably... I'm going to buy this at 4K when it does come out. I do enjoy it. There you go. Is Joker a good movie? Yes. I give it a 9 out of 10. Probably, no, no, a nine and a half out of ten. Trust me, it's that good. There are some parts that are like, eh, do I really need to see? But, it, do I really need to see? But, as a whole, yeah, the movie was literally what I wanted. I wanted a good Joker origin. Now, people do think, oh, we're going to get the full on Joker. No, it's slow build. And I think, I really enjoy the slow build of this Joker film. Yeah, slowly built. a slowly built film isn't bad. I love slowly built films. Now, I want to talk more about this film. Okay, just one more thing. I love his smile, his makeup, his laughter. I love it all. Okay, that's it. And also, guys, uh, if you do want to see more content from me, uh, there is a weekly podcast I do post. And I might do more of these movie reviews. I might do show reviews now. I don't know yet because, again, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with this YouTube channel. Um, but, yeah, let me know. All right. Have a good day.